Hello everybody, it's Ronnie here. Today I show you a meter panel for the EMF detector part 2. This is the circuit of the panel. Now I have a look at the test circuit. On the right hand is the oscilloscope. In the middle is the meter panel. Left side is the AC meter, right side is the DC meter. and for Left side out, there is a EMF detector. I patched it up with a little armful, you can see here. Okay, how does this work? Let's have a look. So I got some marks here on the on these meters. This one is the AC one. And this one is a DC one. I hope you can see it. If I touch the antenna, you see, the value will change. Also on the DC side. It's a little bit bad, but I hope you can see it. Okay. How get, can we get some results? I got here some marks on this side, this is the AC, the AC side, the first first mark is for 0.5 volts, the next one for 1 volts, and the next one is 1.54 volts, and the third one is 2.3, why? Use me 2.3, that's got something to do with the transistor, watch this, the oscilloscope, if I touch here, you can see the sinus curve will change in another curve. It means the step, the transistor step, is overdri overdriven. That's the reason why I marked 2.3. That is the last value you can get. What kind of meters they are? This is a 250 micro, not milli, micro amp meter with an inner resistance of 600 ohms. The AC one is the same one. This is a DC one. The DC one is very simple. There's a 40 kilo ohm resistor in area to the to the meter. The AC the AC side I used a 2.2 microfarad polarized capacitor with 50 volts or something like that. A resistor with 220 ohms, a variable resistor with an output in the middle with 10 kilo ohms and a, di a diode, one point something. Doesn't matter anyway. And parallel to the AC meter, I got also a um, polarized 2.2 microfarad capacitor. You can see. What does us, what does us this values can say? Okay, in this the AC is quite clear. I took the voltage from the oscilloscope take a little bit calculation and so I got the, the voltage here. How can I say how much volts per meter or volts per inch I got? Look at this. This is our EMF detector. Uh, it's a little bit difficult to see. And the distance between the antenna and the ground alu aluminum foil is 4.5 centimeters or 1.74 inches. If I got the voltage here, so I can calculate out how many, how much volts per meter they are. For example, we got an AC volt of 0 0.5 volts at 4.5 centimeters. 4.5 multiplied with 22.22 .22 is approximately 100 centimeter. It means, it means one meter. 
if I multiply 1.0.5 volts with the same value, I get about 11 volts, 11, 11 volts per meter. That's, it's not very exactly this kind of things what we are doing here, but I can approximately say how, what kind of what kind of voltage here are around us. Okay, I can do it in the same way if I want to know how many voltage per inch or voltage per feet around us. It's the same way, it's the same calculation. Okay, now have a look inside. It's very simple. I even don't use a switcher. This is a circuit. I put it on a pinhole platina and connect it to the meters. The meters are out of an old tape deck. There's nothing special on it. Now I want to show you how sensitive this detector is. You can see the antenna. Maybe you see the meter. I do not touch the antenna. Can you see the, the meter? And I touched my hair with my hand. I don't touch the antenna. You can see. You can see the value is changing. The same on the DC side. It call, this calls uh, static electricity. This can be detected by this. There's something more to say about this. Maybe I do another video and tell you more about. But it's a very easy, very easy thing and a very simple circuit. It took less than one hour to build this up. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.